Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So since we still haven't done this, I don't know how I keep forgetting about Captain Toad up there. I should probably head on up there, don't you think? I think so. Maybe I should do the intended method here. Yeah. Whoop! Why didn't I do a hat jump there? Come on now. Come on now, Mario. What? I want a good running jump off the edge of the mushroom. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Great to be back home again. But you know, after my long trip, I'm seeing things here from a whole new point of view. I'll never hang up my adventuring hats, but for now, I'm glad to be back. Hey, here! One more moon power move for you! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> So, Captain Toad helps out once again, but for once he's not really stuck. <laughs> Toad Brigade runs the store, yeah. So, let's buy some stuff. Hi! How's it going? <laughs> Wait, did I get one of... Did I come in here before and buy... Because I don't want to mess with the count. Hold on, I just want to see here really quick. Let's see, da, 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 la 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 yeah, it's, like, it's usually something like shopping in, blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah, I don't think so, because now I'm in the Toadette section. So I guess I never did buy one here before, maybe I was saving it for later, okay. Alright. Here we go, let's buy it. <laughs> and... There we go, shopping near Peach's Castle. <laughs> there we go. And just to see for kicks, let's see here. Shopping, shopping, shopping. Yeah, it's 20. Okay. Alright. Uh, now about the rest of the stuff. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can buy now post-game. Especially after some updates happen. So, this actually looks really, really good. It, makes, it really does make Mario look like Diddy Kong from the back. But yeah, there's a poop ton of stuff here, including a little reference to Super Mario Sunshine. And holy poop! Holy poop! You can even look like the toppers. <laughs> <laughs> There's also some really expensive stuff here, and no, no, you do not need to get all of these for 100%. No, 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 don't, don't you worry about that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you don't have to just kind of, oh yeah, I need to get more moons to unlock even more stuff in the shops, but eh, eh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and buy out the purple coin stuff. So this is the thing that I said earlier that you would know if you've seen it when you came to the point. Let's buy it. <laughs> Let's put on the Mario 64 cap along with the nostalgic Nintendo 64 suit. There we go, I'll also change that now. And we might as well decorate the Odyssey with some classic Mario giblets. Sure, why not? I mean, we got every single purple coin, and they, there's not really a point to holding on to them, so you might as well just spend them all on everything. There we go. Eh, it's not really very interesting descriptions or anything like that for me to laugh at or anything like that. It just, eh. Looks like a block, inspired by Peach's Castle, yada yada yada. Eh, mm-hmm, yes, even a tablecloth is included with this one. Very nice, very nice. And a little model has been faithfully recreated for the Odyssey. And as you've seen from Toadette's dealios with, uh, like the achievements and whatnot, you definitely want to buy as many of these things as you possibly can to get those achievements all filled up. Yeah, we're back in Super Mario 64! <laughs> and now at the powers of Super Mario 64, we can enter the place behind the castle. I think it's... Uh, I think, yeah, I think I can just warp there and... It should be somewhere around there. I always get lost in a circular area. It's kind of hard to point exactly where the poop is the scoop. So, yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and take a look see through here and around here, I should say, and see where that is hanging out. No, no. I'm just looking for that little spot where the toad was hanging out, guarding the door, saying that it likes my blocky or like would like to see a blocky look or something like that. Ah, here it is. How's it going there? See, even he's got um, blocky Mario hat just like so. You know what? I miss your blocky polygon a lot. Glad to let you in anytime you're dressed like that. And you're so classic right now. You can go right on in. Awesome. All right. Now, unlike most of these other outfit areas, there's actually a pretty good amount to do here. And uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Elle is real. <laughs> So yeah, this is literally Peach's garden in Super Mario 64, complete with trees that follow you whichever which way the camera points to. That is a really nice detail there to boot. But anyway, first thing that we got to do here is throw our hat on there, hold the button, and maybe L isn't real as opposed to what the rumor said. <laughs> But there is a star that is definitely real in here. There's even a signpost hanging out over here, and it oh, and it's like trap tip dive jump. Oh, that's not really well, like it's not really new. <sighs> You're teaching me this this late in the game, man, man. Uh oh, oh boy, that's a lot to memorize. <laughs> And, uh, you know, killing off all these guys would take quite a while. Unless you lead them around or something like that. Oh, I just dived right through you. <laughs> Man, you are pretty durable to boot. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's probably just faster to just run out and then go back in once you do the wrong chest combination. Maybe there's not as much as in here to do as I thought there was, but anyway. So, you know, something like one here. Uh, oh. I'm taking. Oh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna take a picture of that, but I think I just. I lost my. picture angle. <laughs> at, le at least I think I did, because it, it, the camera just like. F flopped out of existence. Uh, of some of the chests there, really quick, I was going to use for reference. Okay, so it was like... Well, actually, it doesn't matter which one I... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I got the picture. Let's get out of here, and I can use that picture as reference. Actually, what I should, what I should do off-camera here is... Uh, um, just like write it down on a piece of paper so I don't have to keep jumping back and forth between the screens and whatnot. So hold on a second here while I get my album up there. Uh huh. See, see, look at that. Like uh, the other one, it ruined it. It ruined it. That's getting deleted. <laughs> All right, ready, steady. The coins indicate the first one, by the way. So. I, I guess you'll never forget forget that one at least. So, okay, everything has been written down. You may follow my lead here. <laughs> and that's what the photo option is best used for, I guess, <laughs> in terms of helping you in your gameplay way. So yeah, otherwise it would be kind of kind of awkward to memorize all this and wander around. And yes. Yes, I already got that one on the star, by the way, if you forgot. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I guess there wasn't as much here as I, as I thought there was. Maybe I was thinking of the uh, updated one on Super Mario 64 DS. Yeah. And I even get my health refilled to boot. Heck yeah! But I'm actually going to go look-see around here. I think there's actually something... Yeah. I thought there was something there, because I remember it vibrating before, and it did indeed vibrate there again. So, when you feel a vibration, and you're not doing anything in particular, it usually means there's something. I could kick this rock around, I guess. That'll be fun! Maybe there's gonna be something inside this rock. Well, 
has a heart inside that rocket. That's not all that interesting, but, but, I think we got all of our stuff, and there's no, like, special window up above there in this variation of it like there was in Super Mario 64 DS. Alrighty, now that we've got this all good, I guess we could go ahead on over to the guard. Oh, it was on that direction. I'm always going in the wrong direction when I <laughs> when I'm going around in a circle. I swear to Arceus. So yeah, the all four of these should now be blooms, so I can now add all the fancy schmancy accompanying clips associated with these individual stars. So here we go. Gardening for Toad, Pasture Seed. I think that was the one that was over by the, uh, um, like the little corral for the sheep and stuff like that. I think I'd have to look back at the footage. <laughs> Toad Field Seed, I think that was the one that was just sitting in the middle of the flowers and stuff like that. The next one is the Lake Seed, that one of course is self-explanatory, the one you get when you take care of the one underwater with Dory and stuff like that. And finally the last one is the Garden Seed. Garden seed. Wait a second. Maybe I'm confused. Ah, I'm gonna have to look back at the footage. Because, yeah, <laughs> there's one that was out in the field, and then there's one that was out in the middle of the flowers, one by the. Uh, in the lake, and then the other one over. under some trees. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So now, well, this is all flooded again because I turned off the console and whatnot, but it doesn't matter because we have unplugged this and we can go in here freely. We don't even need a Yoshi now. And oh, it's the biggest, baddest boss in the game. <laughs> and you can expect that it is a lot harder than it was before. As a matter of fact, trying to pull the swords from its head a lot more difficult to get down in one run, like one cycle. As a matter of fact, I think some are impossible to do in one cycle, because there's so many swords in like the last... last one, I think it is, not the last two, but yeah, here we go, Ruin Dragon! Let's go and save the ground pounding locations there for whenever you need to heal up, and as you might be able to tell here, the floor is icy to boot! Yeah, so don't expect you to be having a nice, simple way through here, and oh, fantastic moves, PKGAM, and now you got some zigzags in with the electricity to boot, so yeah, now you've got some problems going on here. <laughs> so the difficulty has been greatly increased here, we'll see how things go, and I probably should grab that before I end up in too low of a health to be able to recover when I'm trying to rush over to get ah, get some sort of heart. Now I should probably grab another heart. <laughs> That's what they're there for. Okay, don't close in. Ow! Don't close in until we stop zapping this time, Pika Game. Give yourself a little more, a little more room to breathe between reaction times and stuff like that. All right, second cycle. Why do I keep throwing my hat at the top of that instinctively? Like that's, I thought I reflexed that or something like that. Alright! Oh man. Oh man, saw blades of lightning! Ride the lightning! Ow! Well, actually, don't ride the lightning, that's not safe. Yeah, I should probably go ahead. Yeah, there we go! Woo! Jump rope with lightning! Whoa! I should have went under that last one, but I just instinctively jumped again. Oh boy, this is not looking good. So many swords! So many swords! Holy poop! Maybe there is enough time! Maybe I can pull this off! Whoa! There is enough time! Yeah! First try victory, somehow. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I'll take it. <laughs> Alrighty! Are you, are you tired again? You need a nap? Well, well, you're not going to be able to get a nap when you hear that incessant buzzing of me having low health, so I'm just gonna grab this triple multi-moon and end off the rematch. 
crumbled, rumble, rumbled, and crumbled, and rematch. Still epic. <laughs> Maybe even more epic. Because you've got a much more, a much higher difficulty than it was before. Alright, now this would probably be the time you want to take a look-see at your uh, list and see what you might be missing. See, I've got a, got a couple of things missing here. One of them I'm going to have to do later on once I unlock something. But as for the rest, what you might want to do at this point in the game is, like, if you can't remember what you need to do or you can't think of what you need to do, you might want to actually buy some hints from the Hint Toad or tap an amiibo or something like that. But the Hint Toad is a little bit faster. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a couple of hints here. What the poop? Right nearby here. Maybe that's where the dog is supposed to dig. <laughs> <laughs> that dang dog! Never ever! Oh, there's another X over there. Okay. I got one for Captain Toad, though. So. Hmm. I don't think that's Captain Toad's. Alright, let's mark that on the map. Inside. Oh, that must be referring to Toadettes. I hope not. I mean, it could be more Toadette achievements. I could mash through them just to kind of knock down the, uh,. Uh, markings on there, but I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so, I've, But there was four... Oh, can't find any more hints, really? Okay, so we've exhausted our hints, and now we can take a look-see around and see that may or may not be around here. So, they have peace in their kingdom just so I like it. Oh yeah, I need to change the music for this toad, I forgot all about that. Hello! I'm traveling all over in search of all different kinds of music. I wonder if you might know some music that fits a certain theme. The theme is Flat Lucky Classic. If you got that one, let me hear it. So, we gotta change it to something 8-bitty. I think anything 8-bitty will work. But I guess you could pick your favorite. Eh, mm, I like the Steam Gardens one here offhand. So, how's that sound? Yes, this is it! This is the music I want to hear! Thank you! Here, this is for you! And... Jamming in the Mushroom King now. <laughs> it's kind of like a sort of tutorial thing. Open the map with minus and press Y. It's fun to travel around listening to your favorite music. So yeah, it's, it's more like a tutorial more than anything. And you can see when you're playing a certain song rather than the regular world theme by just seeing it at the bottom of the screen turning over there. So yeah, if you go there, you go to the lists, there's a music list, or you can, you know, souvenir list, capture list, power moon list, but way on the far right is the music list. And that's where you can change things to whatever you please. Even in the vocal tracks are in here. Uh, somewhere it's like Jump Up Superstar, or, well, uh, somewhere in here. I might be scrolling too fast for my own good. <laughs> wait, there, wait, wait. Uh, no, wait, well, that's kinda. Wait, is it? That's the one! Yes! Well, they don't, I guess they don't call it Jump Up Superstar on here. It's called the New Donk City Festival. Alright! Yeah! Woo! Anyway, moons. <laughs> so, over by the shop, I guess there's one too? So, let's. let's. let's scoop. what's the scoop over here? Maybe it has to do a doggy. Is that? Is it really has to do a doggy? Oh, it does! <laughs> skip! Skip for now! Because <laughs> I really just don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm going in the right direction. Always gotta check that, just to be sure. So which one did I miss over on this side here? Is this where... Is this where a dog was supposed to dig? I don't know, it certainly doesn't look like it. it unless there's something directly above here. Maybe I should maybe I should have grabbed the dog after all and brought him over here. But yeah, I don't quite remember what the poop that was supposed to be for. Unless that's supposed to be like a for a hint art or something like that. Alright, doggy. Let's go. That's it. I Pardon me! Oh, yeah, are you gonna start the whole cycle all over again? Just just to mess with me here? <laughs> it certainly 
<laughs> Seems like it. Because this is just coins. Ah! Okay, follow me. We're gonna go to that other area at the swale. We just we go, go, just faster. Don't get distracted, please. You got distracted, didn't you? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait a second. Maybe I'll actually find something this time. Actually, I think this was a heart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, doggy. Doggy. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember how to what this what this moon was over. Uh, yeah, the moon is following the dog. So <laughs> I don't think there's anything in uh, in specific here that the doggy is gonna be attracted to that'll sniff out. So. I oh I know what this is referring to the pipe because it's underground so I missed something in here I don't remember I do remember ah there is yeah Cappy will say if you return to an area that there's something that you missed if you miss something but yeah actually you don't want this music this is not very fitting. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Not fitting for the area. Okay, so what did I miss over here then? If it wasn't... Hmm. I mean, if it wasn't something that I uh, got before and I got the fruit, because I could have swore that there was only one here. I mean, obviously there wasn't just one thing here, because, it's, well, there's another thing here, but... By the way, uh, these don't ever drop you into the abyss. Like, if you just stand in one place, and it, they won't totally flip over, so you can you just safely go ahead and... Oops! Well, that wasn't safe at all, but I mean, you could just safely stand there until you get whatever, uh, whatever timing you need out of that. Yeah, anyway. Ah. Fantastic jumping, PK Gam! Oh wait, I just heard something. In this direction. This is way at the back corner. Let me do something here. Holy moly! Are you kidding me? Sunken star in the sea of clouds. How do you even get here? <laughs> like, how do, how do you get here normally, I should say? Uh, oh, this is there's a lot more land here than it looks. Oh, you just drop off that and... Okay. Wait, what about this? Is this like a pathway? Oh, this also leads back to the start and everything. Okay. Completed it. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, so about doggy. Because I don't think there's anything else other than doggy there. I don't know where the moon is. I'll just take him around until I come across something. Something. Like, I don't know what, though. It seems, uh, uh. And he always seems to start over here for pointless reason of getting eight coins off the bat. Can I just like accelerate this? <laughs> Can I? Please? Like that? Nope, you absolutely have to do your digging deeds first, huh? I see. I see. Anyway, I'll look around. Hmm. Oh, it was that simple. <laughs> my next, my next spot that I tried. Found at Peach's Castle. Good dog. Woohoo! And since there's an X over there, I might as well go ahead get the rest of the Toadette achievements that have unlocked. I guess. Just to knock off a few more, I guess. Alright, what achievements did I get? What did I get? Captain Toad Greeter? Oh, I see, because I got another Captain Toad on top of the Odyssey and whatnot, so... There we go, do you got any more? You probably do. Yes, you do, of course. Of course, Gaga for Goombat. For completing a bunch of Goombats with Goomba stacking and whatnot. And alright! Does that mean it's off the... Uh, hmm. Okay, so what am I missing in here? 
Is there something that's not a toad at marked one here? Is that? Mm, yeah. Yes. So there's actually something in here after all. Fourth. Well, that one I got earlier, but I mean, uh, there's these four here and something marked. Well, I, that could actually be on top of the castle or inside the castle, for all I know. It depends on the uh, the, the stuff, like, I, I guess you could say, because, like, those hints only give you general ideas of where things may be, but they don't really show you exactly where things are. So I think I, I think I know what I'm missing here, and it's at the front, bal <coughs> front balcony, in that if you go up to, if you go up to here, and go around here. Uh, 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 I think you have a ground pound or something. Yeah, I thought there's some. I thought there was something here. Is what I'm saying here. Because uh, yeah, let's see here. No, maybe not. It could very well be inside, and I'm not remembering what may be inside, or maybe I have to throw my hat on something on the on the tips of these little peaks. Maybe... I don't know. Like I said, there's gonna be some things in this game that I don't completely remember just based on how much stuff there is in this game to collect. So, yeah, let's just take a look-see around here and see if I can jump in here like a painting! No. <laughs> that, would, that would actually be a reference to Super Mario 64 in on itself, too. Because of those windows on the right side route on the first floor. Actually, no, it's technically a second floor, but it's in the first floor room. Uh, but yeah. You know those if you've played Super Mario 64 before. Oh, you do maybe I need Yoshi for that. Whatever it is. Unless it is inside like I thought, but... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, it could be. Hmm. What if I, like, ground pound? About to where that spot is. No, it actually would be. It would actually be inside if that that spot is where it is. So yeah, th th those marks could indicate like a place you need to be in to find a moon. Oh, I think I, it might actually be referring to this hint art. Come to think of it, ah, uh, I can deal with that. Cause not, cause I, I forgot to go to the Hat Kingdom to get that one. I guess since I'm going there next, I could flop over there now. Um. So yeah, I guess so. Let's let's do that. Yeah, I completely forgot about that hint art. It's actually a lot simpler than it looks. Um. Oh, and another thing about those moons that are collecting on the left side of the screen there, they've combined all the moons from all the worlds in the game onto that list over there. That's why they're multicolored rather than the same color as indicators of that. So if you wanted to, instead of using the Odyssey to get around and losing the moons in your inventory, what you could do is use paintings to get around and just keep filling up the left side of the screens with the moons until it can't anymore and it just, it just goes like a dot 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 at the end of it but that kind of takes up a lot of screen space so let's just let's just put our moons in here and head on over to the hat kingdom so the hint art that we've seen yeah we got a lot of them <laughs> the hint art that we've seen for that is uh yay is uh referring to Ooh, powered up to boots. Heck yeah. So, uh, it's actually gonna go over... Oh no, I think this is just showing that you can go to the dark side of the moon. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna save that for later, because it's one big humongous scavenger hunt of, uh... Um... Like, hint art, basically. So it's better to know the places that you're going to be at before you go and get into that stuff. So yeah, oh yeah, if you skip the cutscene, I forgot, it shows the 8-bit, yeah. Okay, so you can see right off the bat there, the hint art is kinda, kinda telling you what's going on based on that little cutscene. It's when the hat overlaps with the, oh, cutscene. It's when the hat overlaps with the moon in just the right way in the background there, and you gotta be standing in the right spot. It'll make sense when you're there. Take a look at that! 
You feel that? Like a whole bunch of energy concentrated together? Let's check it out! Yeah, we can uh, deal with those moon blocks now too, but you know, let's kind of let's kind of go around. Welcome back. We'll be keeping track of the good work you've been doing. <laughs> and you can see hats flying around the sky now. That's a post-game dealio. Luigi is hanging out here. Another post-game dealio. Uh, you, you know what? Let's focus on the dialogue a little bit later on. Let's just complete Peach's Castle now. And yeah, the things have settled down a bit. Thank goodness. So if you look up and line the hat up with the moon. See that how it kind of overlaps just like the hint art that we've seen there as a matter of fact. I'll show you that really quick here album. Uh, right here. Just like that. Uh huh. Get it? That was the hint art we've seen at the Mushroom Kingdom. So if you do a ground pound here or somewhere around here that's aligned you'll be able to find yourself a moon. Uh, it's uh, some... it's got like you gotta be at about the right spot for it to be lined up correctly and everything like that, but you'll you'll get it when you get it. There it is! <laughs> and that counts for Peach's Castle, found with Mushroom Kingdom Art. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I go ahead and probably clear out the Cap Kingdom since I got Peach's Castle pretty well cleared out and whatnot, so... Yeah, as long as we're here, might as well. Or, I don't know, Cascade, I don't know. So we'll see how I feel about things. <laughs> at the very least, I gotta go touch that checkpoint so I start at the beginning of this place. <laughs>